Let's see a demo of document intelligence for CSM in Tokyo. Our business is struggling to handle a surge of inbound vendor invoices. As a system admin, I'm interested in helping to improve vendor response and streamline operations. In Filter Navigator, type Task Intel and select Document Intelligence. This will take us to a list of task definitions. Select Handle Vendor Invoices. The task definition are the various configurations that enable us to hook into an AI model. In this example, we are setting it to autofill, meaning to autofill the various fields on the case form. We're enabling straight through processing against the target table of case. Under keys, these are the various configured fields, namely vendor name, invoice number, invoice date, amount due, and tracking number. And you can see how they're associated with the various target fields on the case as the target table. Under tasks, here are the various sample documents that we have done some pre-training of the model. Let's go ahead and click on sample doc one and click on show in doc intel. On the first pass of this first document, you can see that the model hasn't done such a good job, but we can help it out. In fact, the model has identified all the fields as being customer order number. Let's go ahead and correct the model by suggesting that the vendor name should be Boxio and that the invoice number should be 86753099 and that the invoice date should be July and that the invoice amount should be 540 and that the tracking number is actually not present uh, in the document. Let's go ahead and submit that. For sample doc number two, we click on show in doc intel. And on this second document, the model is starting to get smarter already. You'll notice that it was able to identify a Vandalay industry and it was able to identify the invoice number and the invoice date. However, it incorrectly identified the amount due. So let's go ahead and help it out a little bit. And we'll say that the amount due is 107.22. And once again, tracking number is not present or is missing in the document. Let's go ahead and submit that. So we will go ahead and click on sample doc three and we will click on show in document intel. And you'll notice that the model uh, got smarter. It's identifying that Freight Boy is the vendor, the invoice amount, the invoice date, the amount due of being 1250. And once again, the tracking number is not present on the document. The other thing that's noteworthy is that this document has uh, a slightly different format and it's actually skewed a little bit to the right However, the model was still able, using its OCR capability, to, up, to pick up those data fields. So we'll go ahead and we'll submit that. And now we have our model uh, pre-trained. The last thing to consider is the different conditions upon which we want to have this model fire. So now that we've trained the model against those three sample documents, you can also specify what we call uh, integration setup. And under integration setup, this is where you can define the logical condition that will determine when the model fires. And in this example, what we're doing is that the short description contains the word invoice, and that will determine whether this model fires. So now that we have our model set up, uh, we have defined the autofill, the target table, the various fields, we've trained it against three documents, and we've set up the integration steps. Our next task is to actually send an email from a company called Vortex Doors and they are submitting their invoice to Acme Corporation. When retrieve the email within configurable workspace, you'll notice that the email has manifested itself as case number 1725. We will click on that. Immediately on the case form, we can see the fields that the model was able to predict. So it was predicting the account name as Boxo USA. It's predicting the vendor name, the invoice, the invoice number, and the amount due. Let's review this in Doc Intel. And you'll see that all four fields were successfully identified. So the vendor name, the invoice date, invoice number, and perhaps most importantly, the invoice amount of 107.22. So we have seen the document intelligence is able to deliver tremendous value to organizations. It helps eliminate OCR and RPA solutions that are difficult to administer and maintain. It also helps to digitize manual inspection and eliminate data entry. And this will streamline operational efficiency and enable support teams to respond to their end customers quicker. Thank you very much.